Hello everyone! So for today's video, I teamed up with Spirit Halloween to show you their different styles of fangs and how to apply them. You can just visit your local Spirit Halloween store to find all the products that I will be showing you in this video. Before we get started on the video, I just want to let you know I have a 20% off of one item discount code which you can find in the description. So I'm starting off with the Scarecrow brand fangs. These two fang sets have the same application process, they're just different sizes. Right now I'm wearing the smaller Scarecrow brand fangs which are perfect if you have smaller teeth or if you're going for a more subtle effect. And here you can see I have the classic pair on and they're more dramatic and noticeable. And here's just a quick little side by side. I have on the smaller pair and the classic pair. All the materials you need are inside the little coffin container. Before we get into it, just know you do have to do the process separately for each tooth and do one at a time. To prepare the adhesive for these, first twist one capsule of the powder apart and pour into this little container. Get all the powder together on the edge and add four drops of the liquid and then mix using the wooden stick until the mixture is like a toothpaste consistency. Spread this paste onto the walls of the tooth, not down into the cavity. You want to be careful but also quick if it takes too long. As you can see here, it's a little bit more of a rubbery consistency, which happens after the mixture has dried a bit, which means it won't fit to your tooth as well. So make sure it's still a paste when you are at this step. The kit has extra capsules, so if it turns rubbery too fast, you can just pull it out and start over if you need to. To size it, you have to push the fang up onto your tooth. Do not wiggle it during this process, just firmly push it up onto your tooth. You may see the mixture squeeze out the sides a little bit, and this is good because it will give you a better fit, but sometimes you may want to take a bit of it off around the front. should easily detach while you're fitting the tooth, but again, be sure not to wiggle the fang at all because that will compromise the fit. After you've held the tooth there for about 5 minutes, you don't want to take them off yet. You want to let them sit there for at least another 10 to 15 minutes, during which you can admire your new creepy smile. After this time is up, you can take off the fang by pushing it forwards a bit. You may hear a slight click and now it should kind of just click on and off pretty easily. It will look something like this. The excess adhesive you see on the sides actually helps the tooth click in much better and it stays in your mouth really well because it goes in between your teeth a little bit. Now I'm just quickly repeating the same process with the classic pair of fangs. Once you're done fitting them, you can take them out. They're reusable and you can just carry them around in the little case that it comes with. Moving on to another type of vampire fangs, this set is from Spirit Halloween's brand. They have a different way of prepping and applying them and they are not meant to be reusable. For this style, you start by boiling some water in order to apply. Then you put the beads in and leave them in until they turn from white to clear. This was my first time doing it, so I put them all in, but you may want to do half at a time since you'll be doing one tooth at a time, but you can always reheat the adhesive easily if you need to or if you mess up. Once the beads are completely clear, you want to take them out with a metal spoon and roll the adhesive into a worm-like shape. You can see it's kind of a stretchy, malleable consistency, but it does dry fast, so you want to work as quickly as possible. Place the little blob onto the tooth like this and then press the fang up onto your tooth for no longer than a minute and then remove it. So I figured out the best way to get this fang to fit perfectly and also look its best is to carefully press any adhesive back onto the roof of your mouth and behind your teeth. Again, you want to work quickly and do not press the fang onto your tooth for over a minute. Another helpful tip is that you don't want to do this when you have lipstick on because it can stain the adhesive. Here I've done a quick little side by side of these vampire fangs and the scarecrow classic fangs. Now we have the simplest and easiest pair of fangs. They are also Spirit Halloween brand. It's like one mouthpiece and the fangs are actually retractable. Just like with the last pair, the point is to heat up these white chunks of adhesive so they can mold to your teeth. Put the fangs in a bit of hot water to soften the dental putty and as you can see, they have turned completely clear. You gotta find the right spot and make sure the fangs are aligned to your canine area and then you can just bite down on the putty or press it upward and hold it for 30 seconds to a minute. Once you've held them there for about a minute, take them out and run under cold water to harden the material until it turns white again. 
Now you can put the fangs in and use the tongue bar to raise and lower them at your will. While they're retracted, they're not noticeable at all. As you can see, they go comfortably above your teeth. You just have to flick your tongue to easily move them up and down. So you can look completely innocent, but whenever you see a neck worth biting, you might have to just break out the fangs. So that's it. I hope this video helps you apply your fangs this Halloween, whether you decide to be a vampire, a cat, a werewolf, or anything in between. Don't forget to let me know what you think in the comments, and definitely take advantage of that coupon code. I love you so much, and I will see you in my next video.